Hi, Bruna and I are here at the rainforest in southern Costa Rica, approximately 500 meters altitude. And uh, we are searching for Cericopelma melanotarsum. In this area is the habitat of this species. And first of all, we want to show you a little bit the surrounding, how it looks like. typical habitat for Cericopelma melanotarsum inside a rainforest. Um, we have here at the moment 23 degrees Celsius. Uh, one hour ago we had some rainfall, so it's cooled a little bit down. We have uh, 12 o'clock at the daytime at the moment. Yesterday we had sunshine in daytime, so we had a temperature on day of approximately 26 degrees. But when it gets rainfall and it rains here every day, um, then the temperature goes quite down. So, as you can see the situation here, we have a lot of leaf litter on the floor. Yeah, so it's very hard to detect the burrows, but hopefully we will find something. Normally it's much more easy to find them on, on the banks on the side of the streets, but now we try to find them here in the typical habitat in the rainforest. And okay, let's see, maybe it will work. Like we were lucky and we found a, a very good looking hole right over here the hole is closed with with silk so i'm pretty sure that there is a tarantula inside but um we will see yeah so we have some tools some equipment with us the camera we can go inside the hole and check out what is inside. But as you can see here, the surrounding, the hole is very, very hard to see. It was quite uh, a success, I would say. And I'm quite happy that we found that one. So let's see what's inside. We have our, our camera here. And now let's try. Seems to be very deep. Try to get in there more deeply. So we are quite deep inside the burrow and now we see here that seems like a spiderling of Cericopelma melanotarsum. The camera is a little bit dirty now at the beginning because I'm right deep in the hole but you can see it here on the side. Oh now it gets better again. Oh yeah, here we see the leg of an juvenile or spider ring Cericopelma melanotarsum with the typical whitish tips but they cannot be all in that hole get a little bit more deep Aha, the spider rings running around yeah, and there is a mother now we see a little bit of the spider link here and the mother behind. So here we are. There is the mother inside the burrow. Look at that. Looks like a big female. And here on the tip you can see it's definitely Cericoperma melanotarsum with a typical sign on the leg, the front leg. And it's interesting. The the babies seems like some of them from the last or from the last egg sac are still inside. Okay, now I will get out the camera and then we can have a look how deep the burrow is. Yeah, so the spider was sitting here 
it's approximately half a meter I would say 50 centimeter deep in the ground goes a little bit like this 50 centimeters and what I want to do now is to check a little bit how is the temperature inside the hole here on the floor we have at the moment 24 degrees and if I go inside the hole as far as my pointer can get it's approximately 23 degrees but I'm maybe around 30 centimeters in the hole now so I would say there where the spider is sitting it should be around 22 degrees so not that warm I would say yeah okay so quite a success we managed we managed to find Sericoperma melanotarsum but there is no chance to get this spider out now at the daytime so we will come back here at light time and see if we can get a video and some some nice pictures of this beautiful big female so now here we are at the same place and we have visited today and found the, the hole of the the burrow of the Sericoperma melanotarsum and as we hoped the spider now at night time is sitting right outside of the of the burrow you can see it here when my light is on found a very nice female of Botrops asper here in Costa Rica they call them terciopelo or furtherlands so it's a very poisonous pit viper and I will take the camera from Bun and try to get some closer look on it it's right here next to this little trail here sitting there and waiting for prey and this is a typical behavior of of uh, the terciopelo, the furtherlands, or drops asper. They sit in a coil and wait for prey which passes along and this is also the reason for why there are a lot of accidents with this snake because if you come through like I am doing now she will not move away like other snakes she will stay like this and when people step on this snake of course they will get a bite and they have a very potential venom so nothing to play with but a really beautiful snake and here we found the next Sericoperma melanotarsum and this one is quite a big one uh, it's, the burrow is just there inside the, or at the, at the, the top of the, at the beginning of the roots of this, of this small tree and I will try if I can manage to get it out and catch it maybe <laughs>
So after we made some nice photos, we will release this beautiful girl back into her home, which is once again here under this tree. And juvenile semi adult one I would say nice coloration also fresh freshly malted and very thin also and the burrow is quite here under the stone and as you will see it's very hungry goes directly on my imitation and now back to the burrow but I'm pretty sure I'll get it out once again and here we go so it seems like there is not much food around at the moment. And back she goes.